Hi everyone and welcome back to US Water Rockets. Today we're going to talk about a new technique which we came up with for painting water rockets as a way to improve their aesthetics. Like it or not, water rocketry is often not taken as seriously as pyro rocketry due to the fact that most water rockets are constructed by following really old tutorials using obsolete build techniques that rarely put any thought into the appearance of the finished rocket. Even the most basic low cost pyro rocket kits make a much more serious and professional impression and we want to change that. In this video, we're going to reveal a really simple technique we've developed that can be used to apply an incredibly professional painted finish to the sections of your water rocket that are constructed from soft drink bottles. You're probably asking yourself, how hard can painting a water rocket be? Wouldn't you just grab a rattle can and spray on a few coats of paint and be done with it? Well, you can do that, but as you can see in this comparison, that method, shown here on the left, produces a finish that looks terrible when shown next to the mirror-like finish obtained with our new painting technique shown on the right. It's also important to point out that our painting technique is much more durable. It does not easily scratch off or deteriorate from use like the sample shown on the left. So what is our secret to producing this beautiful and rugged paint finish? It's incredibly simple. We put the paint on the interior surface of the bottles instead of the outside. To accomplish our fantastic paint finish, we simply take a rocket component like a nose cone and roughen up the inside surface with sandpaper before painting it. Then we mask off the entire exterior surface of the part so that it does not get any overspray on it. Then it is a simple matter of painting the interior sanded surfaces. We recommend many light coats of paint to avoid runs. However, unlike a run on the bottle painted on the outside, a run on the inside will not affect the surface finish at all. The only reason to avoid them with our technique is because they take a long time to dry. Once the paint is dried, you can peel off the masking and reveal the amazing mirror-like finish. Our technique can also be applied to painting an entire water rocket, including the pressure vessel, for a fully painted water rocket design. To do this, you would begin by preparing your bottles for splicing just as we've shown in our bottle splicing tutorial video, which can be found in the links below or in the annotations or cards. Before you glue the bottles together, you're going to use our new method to paint the interior surfaces except for the inside area where the PL Premium Adhesive is to be applied. First sand all of the interior surfaces of both bottles. Then you can just mask off the glue areas on the inside of the outer bottle where the glue will be applied. You can find the area to mask off by test fitting your bottles together and then marking the overlapping area with some tape. Using the tape as a guide, you will mask off the glue area inside the bottle with tape, then mask off all the exterior surfaces of both bottles. As we showed earlier, you then paint the interior surfaces. Paint both bottles using several thin coats of paint, allowing a few minutes to dry in between each coat. When the painting is completed, you can strip off the masking material and then you can glue the bottles together as shown in our bottle splicing tutorial to create a splice joint. When the splice is cured, you can then dress up the joint with some colored tape to hide the seam. The painted pressure vessel is now completed. Be aware that this technique can also be used to paint other rocket components like the parachute cover or anything else that you have made from soft drink bottles. Once fully painted, you'll have a water rocket with the perfectly glossy exterior finish that won't scratch or flake off during use and looks really professional. So there you have it, we've created a new way to produce some really amazing looking water rocket parts with very little effort. We hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and you've learned something new. We'll see you next time.